In this video I'm demonstrating the ion chamber kit from the madscientisthut.com. Uh, the premium kit includes a multimeter, the basic kit doesn't. Uh, they both come with the hardware and components shown, the PC board. The easy to follow instructions, it takes about 30 minutes to an hour to build this kit. Um, the kit builder has to provide their own tin. A cookie tin or tea tin is preferred. Uh, tin is an easy to work with metal, it's thin, it solders too. Uh, you also provide your own 9 volt battery, uh, aluminum foil, and or band. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate using some thorated lantern mantles from the 1990s. Uh, these are Coleman mantles. Uh, they're slightly radioactive. I have a CDV700 to demonstrate their uh, radiation output. So we have this set on the 10x range. The probe has the beta window open. So if I move the lantern mantles in front of the probe, you see the reading going up. We're reading on the 10x range, so the 0.1 to 0.15 is actually 1 to 1.5 MR per hour. So let's go back over the ion chamber. And we're going to slide the the lantern mantles up to the ion chamber window. Now as the ion chamber uh, reading goes higher it's because the radiation is passing through the chamber and it's creating ion pairs. And the ion pairs are being collected by the anode and cathode in the chamber. That's what's uh, being amplified and that's what's causing the voltage reading on the, the multimeter here. So it takes a little while for the charge to build up watch it here for a good 30-40 seconds. So The kits are available at madscientisthut.com. The premium kit is $25.99, includes the multimeter. The basic kit is $17.99. Uh, here I'm going to move away the, the source and we'll watch the uh, chamber die down, the charge inside of it, as it bleeds off into the, into the um, anode and cathode. It takes a little while uh, to settle back down to background radiation levels. So thanks for watching.